Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Jake Blow Triple Boat, brought to you by J&J Handyman. So I just wanted to show you guys something really quick. Um, you know, whenever you go and do a big job and you have uh, customers that say, well, this texture doesn't match that. Problem with that is mixing your mud, getting all the same consistency. Um, because if you have one thicker than the other, you're always going to get a different type of texture. So uh, one of the things that we've learned years of experience, uh, Dwight preferably is the... Uh, one of the good handymans, but what he did is he basically got a tape measure and uh, some you can buy these five gallon buckets with uh, measurement uh, lines on there and so basically all he did was he marked these lines I don't know if you can see them right here what'd you do it at every two inches at every two inches and so you fill up your cans um, all the way to the top so that'll give you, uh, I don't know, let's see, two, four, six, eight, ten, probably about 20 inches worth of water. So when you mix your mud, uh, you know, you can buy the five gallon buckets. And that's basically what we did is we use a whole five, um, let's see here, they're actually not five gallons. These are, uh, as much as you uh, do these, you would think I would know, 4.5 gallons. So one of these cans, holds 4.5 gallons of mud so then you go and basically what we'll do is we'll just take off a little bit from the top one or two scoops then we'll go and we'll add the water accordingly whether it's two inches four inches depending whether the customer wants a uh, thin spanish drag versus a heavy duty or heavy uh, texture of spanish drag um, but the more water the lighter your texture so um, we are doing mostly, most of the jobs that we do, we do uh, Spanish drag textures with orange peel up on the ceilings. Unless the customer otherwise wants uh, Spanish drag on the ceilings, we uh, will do, you know, everything Spanish drag. So it just depends what the customer wants. It's very um, seldomly do we get uh, jobs that are crow's uh, foot or uh, there are just so many different ways of applying texture. But when you're going to use a compressor, we do have this tech spray, it's made by Graco. This sucker here, you can fill that whole bucket up and you, you have your settings over here on the side, which is right here. Here's your, um, your flow, your material flow. And here's, you, you can use a sprayer or you can use a, a hopper, like old school, get a compressor, you hopper. Um, one of the features that this thing provides is this little silver bracket I mean this silver ball and what that does is that tech uh, uh, measures the consistency of your mud so if you go here and you put it on top of this thing now this is still wet so you see how that's sinking down normally you want it to sink down just a little bit faster than that but we have let that set uh, just for a little bit and then we're gonna go back and um, uh, mix it again this one here, exact same thing. So you're going to get the exact same results because we have we have um, applied the exact same amount of water with the exact same amount of, of mud or joint compound rather. So you can get the exact same consistency out of each box and you're not going to have the problems of the customer saying, oh, well, why does this look different than this other side? That's the reason, ladies and gentlemen, if you measure everything, I know it's a little tedious for some contractors, a lot of old schools like me and, and this guy here, they'll look at it and, 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 you know, when you've been doing it for many, many, many years, you can pretty much figure out what you use and how you mix it and how you like it. I usually use the, um, um, the mixing bit, uh, which is, or a paddle bit, which is this right here, that sucker right there, you know, whenever you get that to moving and mixing it the way that you want it the way you like it um, and you pull out of the mud it'll drip uh, you don't want it to drip like water you want it to drip uh, kind of like um, a little bit like pancake mix maybe a little thicker than that so if you guys are uh, interested on, on how thorough we are if you wanted to ask me any questions please comment at the bottom of the video uh, gives us a, a thumbs up and please subscribe 
Okay. Okay. This is my signature. Okay. 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 Anyways, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I know there's a lot of people that are DYIers and they like to be able to do their own stuff so they can save money. Again, guys, you know, I will not stress enough. Make sure that you mix all your mud the exact same way because you're going to get different texture in every single wall and you want it all to look the same uh, not only for uh, good quality work it looks professional uh, there's just so many factors that will come into play whenever you do it this way oh that rhyme because jay likes it this way and that's the way you should play okay 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 anyways thank you you have a lovely weekend um, again, like I said, if you like this kind of stuff and just, um, want to share the love, subscribe and go from there. Thank you. Bye-bye.